the DSO DC3 is a very versatile and um, handy portable test instrument. It includes a multifunction tester which can test for um, resistors, capacitors, uh, transistors, inductors, so it's basically an LCR meter also, a oscilloscope and a signal generator. Starting with the signal generator, you connect the accompanying probe to the DDS, uh, part there, digital signal generator, okay, and then you go into the menu by pressing the OK button and there you've got a selection of um, sine wave, square, pulse, triangle, ramp or just a, a normal DC, fixed DC voltage and um, by clicking the left and the right arrows you can adjust the frequency as you can see currently it's set for sine wave wave at 14 kilohertz and 3 volts and looking here at the oscilloscope we see a signal gener a signal there if I go to measure and I say peak to peak there we get the 3 volts peak to peak and if I say frequency we might just have to set the time base a little bit more to there we get the frequency 14 kilohertz so as i adjust this this value let's adjust this to 30 kilohertz and there we'll see the value change uh, the, the signal change to 30 kilohertz so to use the oscilloscope you navigate to the oscilloscope menu and you press OK to enter it. Um, I've got a signal generator on this connector, so I'm just going to connect that into oscilloscope input. And to auto adjust the, the screen, the timing and the voltage level, you just press the OK button again. And there we see we've got a signal of 100 kilohertz and 4.25 volts peak to peak. And that's, that is exactly what my signal generator is set to. You can change all these other parameters like the times 10, times 1 and so on by just uh, clicking the uh, left and right arrows and then whatever is set in blue you can adjust. So in that case it is the trigger level I'm adjusting. If I press this one more time I am uh, get one volts per division now I can set that to two volts per division one more time I can set times one times ten there's no timing base five microseconds ten microseconds twenty two microseconds uh, there's DC offset DC and there's AC and there's DC again so now if I press this a few more times there's the trigger on rising or falling edge one more time, there's uh, auto, normal, or single, single shot triggering. To use the component tester, you scroll to the component, the M tester um, menu, and you enter by pressing OK. And then you insert the component. Now, in this case, you don't have to specify which, which pin goes where. The only thing to keep in mind is that the two the pins of the component must go into different numbers. So in this case, it's a resistor, and pin the the one pin went to socket pin number one. The other one went to number two, so they shouldn't both go to one or both to two. It's for example, and then you just press OK, and you 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 in you fix the the component by just. Uh, releasing or pushing this lever down then press OK and it's testing and there it tells me it's a 10k resistor 10.25k uh, connected to pins 1 and 2 and that is exactly what this is it's a 10k resistor next 
I've got a 10 microfarad capacitor here for test it. And yes, there we go, 9.6 microfarad, which is close enough to 10 microfarad. It even gives me the uh, percentage and the ESR, equivalent series resistance. Now I've got a 3300 microhenry inductor. And just for a change, I connected the one pin, two pin, two, and the other one, two pin, three here at the bottom. And yeah, 3.4, which is close enough. Uh, that's within the tolerance uh, millihenry. Now I've got a BC547 NPN transistor in here. Connected two pins one, two, and three. And it tells me it's an NPN transistor. Which pin collector base emitter is on which pin of the tester? The gain, uh, the forward voltage, and the 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 um, collector current that it tested with. Very useful. Then I have a, a normal one in one oh oh one diode here. Connected to pads 1 and 2 and there it tells me I've got a diode the forward voltage is 0.65 and the reverse current is 16 nano amps you can also to test high voltage diodes you can connect them to this K and A pads over here then it can test them at a high voltage 